loves if you're visiting from the other channels thank you for stopping by and welcome to Bree's project book if you are new to the family welcome welcome and if you are a BPB family member welcome back today we have a treat for you with another fab collab the title of this fab collab is the seasonal coffee beverage bar collaboration our hosts are Kimberly from diva designing on the dime And Kenya from Kenya's Decor Corner. This is an open collaboration, so don't forget to visit the other talented YouTube sisters who are participating in the playlist below. You are invited to subscribe to their channels and give a thumbs up. It doesn't cost anything. So let's get started. So we're going to start with these two pine wreaths here. We have two of these and then we have some pine picks over here that we will also incorporate. So we're going to first do the pine wreaths and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this. Now of course most of you know that I have this two tier tray. In the back I have a candlestick holder where I uh, use as height to elevate my decor a little bit higher here in this corner. So we're going to take this wreath and we're going to place it sitting up like so kind of facing this way kind of kind of corny and then we're going to take the next one and we're going to lay it down like this so the sprigs kind of spread over the sides and looks very appealing and that is what we're going to use as our base now we have the two wreaths one laying down, one is standing up, and then we have our candle holder peeking up in the corner there. Now we are going to take some more of these nice little pine sprigs. What I'm trying to do is make this look like a little pumpkin patch up here. So we're gonna add some more sprigs, get it nice and full. Okay, so here are the pumpkins. And here are the other things that I have that we are going to incorporate in our cocoa bar. But first we are going to place the decor and that's going to be these pumpkins. So let's do that next. So we have about six pumpkins. We're going to take the biggest one first. This is a wooden pumpkin that I love to decorate with. And it will sit under here nicely. So we're going to just place it in here. And that little bed of greenery that we put in here, that's going to keep it up sitting up nice and tight against the back so it has some sort of background greenery hopefully you can see that under this cabinet then we're going to add our pumpkin that's going to sit right back here on that candle stand and we're just going to just sit it just like that and we're going to add our pumpkin picks these are purchased from Michaels and we're going to just slide it in here. Now all of these pumpkins are white. Some of them didn't come white. Some I had to paint white. And we're going to slide another pick in here. A little more closer to the bigger pumpkin and then we have this pumpkin here that we're going to just place on the side this one is going to sit up for you so we keep playing around until we get it the way we that it looks like a pumpkin patch that looks nice and then we're going to take this last one and we're going to put it right here along the side of the larger pumpkin and turn it so it can fit nicely and I think that will do it so you can see what I'm doing here make sure there isn't no huge spaces but I have little some more sprigs here that we can use 
to put in those spaces like right along in here and on the side here so it looks kind of naturally growing out of the two-tier tray that's what I'm going for that we are going to incorporate in our pumpkin patch so we're going to begin with our flowers here that I have just a few little picks of flowers that I'm going to add in here to add a little bit of color and we're just going to the little berries that's on it, the wreaths are blue the same color as these flowers like a powdery blue very light blue gray I guess you can say and that looks really really nice to uh, complement the blue berries in the wreath okay so now we have these little leaves here that we're going to add and we're going to stick that in the corner between the little handlebars or handles that's in the stand here so they can lay nicely and then we have this one little leaf now these leaves came off of a, a branch of leaves that you guys would see in the upcoming video that I will decorate with me for my kitchen cabinets I will show you how I'll be styling that and these leaves just fell off and I don't throw anything away <laughs> I keep everything that I can because I can always use it again later in something else and then we have some pine cones that we are going to put in here and we're going to stick those right in between these maple leaves see that and we're going to put it right in this spot and then we have some single cone leaves that we can just stick right there and this little pumpkin trying to get away from me here then we have these little acorns that I'm going to place here in the corner. I think that probably would do better. Yeah, there we go. And we have these little acorns came in a small bag that was from Michael's that I got last year. They were 50 cents on sale for a fall sale. And they were about 25 in a bag and I just twist three of them together. So they look like a little grouping. And I'm going to just place those just scattered throughout the little pumpkin patch here. Okay, so I'm thinking that is good enough. You have to be careful when you have a very small area to decorate, like this little corner section of my counter. I have so many choices with that two-tier. It just opens up a lot of de decorating possibilities uh, for me in this small space. So we are going to continue. We are going to decorate the bottom tier here, and we are going to start with uh, some cups and other items. So stay tuned. So this bottom tray is where my essentials would go and we're just going to put a small decor item here, just a little decor element that represents fall. Maple leaves is my theme for my fall decorating and I'm going to put this maple leaf right here in the back. It's going to sit nicely on the tray. And then I have this beautiful pumpkin. I have a set of six of these and this is going to be used this is the only one that's going to be used on my uh, cocoa bar. Inside we have some marshmallows. 
And what I'm going to do is just tilt this forward. I'm gonna tilt that forward just like that so it's easy to get to when I want to. So next we are going to add these glass mug here. I love using these for my cocoa. Um, I don't know why, it's just so neat. It's very nice in size and plus you can see the cocoa and when you put your toppings on top, it just looks really nice. Love the way this looks with my cocoa and we're going to store this right along the side of the pumpkin and then we're going to place the third one right on top and then we have these beautiful towels that I have them wrapped up these are just for decorations and we're going to put that right here and that keeps the pumpkin steady and I think that is it for the second shelf all right I'm really liking how this is looking and now we are going to decorate right on the right side of this two-tier stand we have this glass stand here that is part of a cake stand and we're going to place that right here in the corner so it fits nicely there and then we have this dome which is a top of or the bottom part of the pumpkin I purchased this from Dollar Tree and we're going to place that inside there and we're going to add all of our Swiss Miss K cups for our chocolate hopefully when I go back to Dollar Tree they have some more of these glass pumpkins I have not been seeing them since the last time I purchased these and this was about five six years ago when I purchased this but what I've done was I wanted to incorporate the glass pumpkin into my uh, decor this year so what I've done is I painted the top of the pumpkin white and then sealed it with a nice glaze to go over and I think is a perfect complement to the rest of the decor pumpkins there and it goes very well I am loving this so we are here on the left side of the two-tier stand where the panel is and we have this beautiful plaque here that I purchased from Etsy about seven eight years ago and it's a cut out of a cup of steaming beverage it could be cocoa tea or coffee and I thought it's perfect here on this panel so what we're going to decorate is right below that and we're going to start out remember this two tier stand that I DIY we're going to put it on the side like this so we're going to make this out of a little table right along here our little utensils so this little white glass jar was glass then I painted it white just like I did the top of the pumpkin it was from Dollar Tree it was a votive cup and I'm using it as my utensils cup here you see I have some nice little small spoons to stir and then I have my prongs there to get my marshmallows when I need them and we're going to place this right here on the side our glass saucers or appetizer dishes or what have you just for coffee cake or anything like that that I would like to have and I'm going to place them in this cube right here just slide those in and it fits perfectly so right there we are going to take some leaves that fell off of another branch and some more of these pine branches add our condiments that we can sprinkle on top of our cocoa with our whipped cream or or our marshmallows we have some dark 
chocolate powder that we can use and we'll put that right on top of the stand. We have some pumpkin allspice or pumpkin spice. We can add that also. And in this container here is the last container. These are salt and pepper shakers and they work very well to sprinkle on top of your hot cocoa. And I am going to add these chocolate sprinkles that I love to put on top of my whipped cream. So we're going to use this little spout to pour them in. Okay, so this is nice and full. Now, of course, these are not going to come out in this little hose. So I normally just take the top off the sprinkle on top of my cocoa. Now, of course, we have to have a spot where we can put our goodies, you know, our cookies and our pumpkin cake. So I have this beautiful dome tray that we're going to place right here on top of the stand and it fits perfectly. So now we have everything we need here for our cocoa. We have our dishes, we have our utensils, and we have our dome stand for our coffee cake. Now the reveal. Well, that would do it for me, my friends. I hope you guys got some ideas on how to decorate a cocoa bar in a small space. As you can see, I use both sides of my counter to try to spread out some of the things that I would like to have as far as decor and food and things of that nature to go with my cocoa bar. And I also use different kinds of elements to make it interesting, more texture, a lot of white to so it can pop over in that dark corner and it turned out beautifully. I hope you got some ideas. Don't forget to check out our host channel and subscribe to their channel and give it a thumbs up. You will not be disappointed. I will see you guys on the next video. If you love DIYs, decorating, organizing and so much more, click the subscribe button and click the bell for new videos notification every week. Don't forget to visit my other social media platforms for ideas and tips to decorate, organize, or better your home